Welcome back out to Joanne Stadium in Green Bay where the 7 and 6 Bullfrogs are playing host to the 11 and 4 first place Eau Claire Express. But yesterday the Bullfrogs picked up a 5 to 2 win over the Battle Creek Bombers to sweep the two game set out in Michigan with the Bombers. And the Bullfrogs got on the board first in the second inning. Three straight singles from Joel Hunter, Dan Putnam, and Ryan Kale set up this 3-2 pitch to Mike Furlong. Lead runner Hunter at third. The payout pitch to Furlong. Low ball four. He walks in a run. And the Bullfrogs lead it one to nothing here in the second. Fur Walking in runs would become a trend over the ball game for the Bombers. They'd walk in a total of three runs for the Bullfrogs. Up after two innings, the Bullfrogs led by a score of one to nothing. Their next couple of runs, though, would come without those walks with the bases loaded. In the fifth inning, the Bullfrogs would get an RBI triple to left center off the bat of Scott Shevler, making it two to nothing. And the flank fire delivers. Fly ball, left center field, well hit. Navarro Hall giving chase. He's not going to get to it. One off, and it's off the Battle Creek Inquirer sign. And Shevler on his way to third. The throw in won't be a time of stand-up triple for Scott Shevler. Shevler's triple made it two to nothing. Bullfrogs, and then in the sixth inning, Colin Kuhn would make it three zip with an RBI single as he drove in Dan Putnam. The two two to Kuhn pokes his bat out and drops one into right field for an RBI single as Putnam comes in to score over to second is Furlong, and the Bullfrogs lead three to nothing. Scott Shevler already had an RBI triple as he came to the plate to lead off the Bullfrogs 7. And with a 1-0 count, he almost made it 4 to nothing with one swing of the bat. But the spacious park in Battle Creek, 333 down the right field line, made the park just a little bit too big for Shevler to pick up his 7th home run of the year. Oh, no strike. Shevler with an RBI triple in the 5th. He's 1 for 3. Here's a rip deep to right, back to the track, to the wall. Dispenza makes the catch against the wall. With his back to the wall, he hauls it in. And there's one away here for the Bullfrogs in the seventh. Dispenza was helping Jasmine out, but Jasmine would lose things of his own accord as the inning went on. After recording two quick outs, he'd walk Joel Hutter. Allow a single to Dan Putnam and then walk three straight more. He walked Ryan Kale to load the bases. Joe Batcher then walked the bases loaded to bring in the fourth run of the game for the Frogs. And four pitches later, Colin Kuhn was aboard with an RBI walk. And the Bullfrogs led by a score of five to nothing. Battle Creek would start to chip back. However, they'd get some help. And air to lead off the bottom of the seventh by Joel Hutter at second would allow Parker Berberat to reach and two batters later Dan Dispenza got the Bombers on the board with an RBI triple. Shibuya sets his 1-2 to Dispenza. Fly ball right field. This one's well hit over the head of Colin Coon. This one's going to bounce off the Budweiser sign. He waved around his Berberat. Dispenza on his way to third and he'll be in with a stand-up RBI triple. Dispenza would come in to score on the very next batter as Eric Schultz grounded out to Hunter on second, bringing in Dispenza, making it a 5-2 ball game. That was where the scoring would end. Both teams would threaten, including here in the ninth inning, Colin Kuhn trying to stretch a two-out single into a double, but he'd be thrown out by center fielder Sean Deegan. And bam, ready to do the 3-2 again. Delivers, line drive, left center field, and that ball being knocked down by the wind and curving funkily towards center. Throw into second as Kuhn tries to stretch a single to a double and he's thrown out. Ben Versnick came on in the bottom of the ninth. He'd get two quick outs, a fly out to left and a fly out to right. And then he get Noble Enriquez to ground out to end the ball game to third baseman Joe Betcher. Here's a chopper to third. Short off Betcher. He'll field the charging. Sidearm to first, Troy Scott keeps his foot on the bag, and the game's over. The Bullfrogs win. Ben Versnick picked up the save, his fifth of the year, but here one, two, three, nine. Tim Shibuya got the win. He went seven innings, allowing two runs, both on earned. On four hits, he walked one, struck out seven. He's now two and one on the year. 
Shibuya Bursnik and Alex Schmarzo combined to pitch just a four-hitter against the Bombers. The Bullfrogs win 5-2. to two. They're now 7-6 and six on the year. And back home tonight here at Joanne Stadium as the Bullfrogs host the Eau Claire Express, who are in first place at 11-4. and four. It's a 7-0-5 start here at the Joe when we come back to the Green Bay Bullfrogs pregame show. I sit down with Bullfrogs manager Jordan Bischel. You're listening to the Green Bay Bullfrogs pregame show brought to you by Toyota. <laughs> 